Hey guys, so iOS 18 developer beta one is now officially available for registered developers. And I have to say, this is the iOS update that I've been waiting on for so many years. This one adds so many features that iPhone users have been wanting for so long that I'm going to try to do my best to share as many as possible in today's first look. Now, keep in mind that over the next several days, weeks, and months, I'll continue to cover iOS 18. So be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications so that you see those videos the minute they drop. But there's just so much happening within iOS 18. I'm going to try to break everything down as quickly as possible to share with you guys as much as possible. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I want to talk about is device compatibility. Can you believe that iOS 18 will support every single iPhone that's currently running iOS 17? So yes, iOS 18 will support every iPhone that's currently running iOS 17. That includes obviously the iPhone SE second generation, iPhone 10R, iPhone 10s, 10s Max, and every single device newer will support iOS 17 once it is officially available later in September. So yes, if you have an iPhone running iOS 17, you'll be able to update later this year to iOS 18. And obviously, that is great news. Now, Apple also released today iPadOS 18 Beta 1, macOS 15 Beta 1, tvOS 15 beta 1, visionOS 2 beta 1, and watchOS 11 beta 1. But in today's video, we're going to be focusing on iOS 18. Okay, so I want to start off with the lock screen, right? Because we now have the ability to customize the lock screen shortcuts. Yes, finally, a feature that many iPhone users have been wanting. All you have to do is long press, go into customizing, and then select lock screen. And then you see right here the new UI where you can go ahead and remove those shortcuts click on the plus icon will bring up this menu here where you can go ahead and select any of these preloaded options here. You also have a search bar there and then you have all these options right here to choose from. So if you wanna change one of those to let's say the silent switch, you can do that. If you wanna add something like dark mode, you can also do that. So finally, customizable lock screen shortcuts is possible with iOS 18 and Apple mentions that they will allow developers to create their own so that you can select any third party application as well so yeah this is a fully customizable experience for your lock screen shortcuts within iOS 18 and I really love this new option so the next thing I want to talk about is control center and wow Apple did a lot here there's a lot of customization options and it is entirely redesigned as you can see right here now the first thing to note is that if you swipe up on control center you go through different pages as you can see right here so you have your favorites you have right here your connectivity, you also have your music, you also have right here your home controls, and then down here you have all of your connections from Bluetooth to Wi-Fi to airplane mode, etc. Now you can customize the control center, you can long press on control center just like so, and you can resize things and you can remove elements from the control center as well. So let's say I wanna remove a few here and I wanna make this platter a little larger, I can do that right there with control center just as long as I have the room, I can go ahead and do that and I can resize and add and remove controls with this new menu right here you can choose any option for control center as you can see right there you can add any toggle and apple says that developers can also integrate their very own control center extensions in the future once ios 18 is officially out to the public and again you can resize everything just looks different on the top you also have a power off button right here where you can go ahead and power off your iphone and you can also edit your control center by clicking on this little plus icon on the top here and you can control all of your pages and edit all of your pages within control center fully customizable i think apple did a great job with control center within ios 18 and i'm really loving the new control center okay so now i want to go to shift my attention over to the home screen because there's a lot happening here apple has changed quite a bit and apple has added quite a bit of customization options i have to say i thought i'd never see the day where you can customize the home screen of your iphone but here we are if you long press on the home screen you have two options when you click on edit you have add a widget as you do with iOS 17 but now you have the ability to customize right there it is if you click on customize check out this new UI down here you have automatic dark light and tinted so automatic will automatically change your icons from light and dark mode depending on your settings you also have the dark mode experience as you can see right there honestly i can't believe this is possible it looks so cool and you also have your light mode options and your tinted this is where it gets really interesting because you can actually change the color with this scrubber for all your icons with one single swipe as you can see right there and you can make those colors lighter or darker with the second scrubber here 
You can also add a dark wallpaper background or a light wallpaper background. I mean, a ton of customization options. You can even make your icons slightly larger by clicking here. And if you click small, obviously they go back to smaller sizes right there. This is a lot of customization options for iOS 18 for the home screen. And obviously you can also go ahead and place icons anywhere on the home screen. So if you want settings down here, you can place settings down there. If you want the journal down here, you can do that as well. You see there's a bug right there. And right here we have fitness and things like that where you can go ahead and just place icons anywhere on the home screen. But I can't believe we can actually customize the home screen of your iPhone with these new customization options available within iOS 18. The UI looks phenomenal. I like what Apple did here. It just works. It looks very nice. And for it being beta one, it actually works pretty well so far. Now, next I wanna shift my attention over to one of the features that I think you guys are gonna love the most, and that is the ability to lock any application on your iPhone using Face ID or Touch ID. So I've already used that here within the App Store. So if I launch it, it requires Face ID and then it unlocks, but if I move away, it won't unlock the application. So let's launch the App Store there. You see it's looking for Face ID. If I move closer, it should allow me to unlock just like so. So you can now lock individual applications, finally, using Face ID or Touch ID you no longer need any shortcuts or workarounds. Now, the way you do this is you long press on the app icon and then you see the option right there, request face ID. So when you tap that, it will authenticate with face ID and it will lock the application for you behind face ID on your device. Obviously, you need to put your face right into frame just like so and it will recognize that you're there and it will lock the application. It will no longer launch unless it can see you right there in order to launch the application. So yes, finally, you can lock individual applications applications using Face ID or Touch ID on the iPhone. Now, if you want to remove any app, obviously you long press and then do not request Face ID. It will go through the authentication process once again, and then you can just launch the application like usual. So yeah, finally, locking apps with Face ID and Touch ID is possible within iOS 18. Next, I want to talk about the phone and the messages application. There's a few features coming later this year for the phone application. Call recording is finally coming to the iPhone. Many iPhone users have been wanting this feature for quite quite some time, so call recording and call transcripts will be available for the phone application later this year within iOS 18. And now for the messages application, Apple mentions that text via SMS satellite will be available later this year. RCS support will also become available later this year and schedule text messages will also be available within iOS 18. Now right now, if we type away here within the messages application, we can highlight these words and we can click on this icon here and add any of these text formats that you see here or any of these text effects within iOS 18. So you can add any of these effects as you can see right there, the effects right there. We have the ripple, really cool text effects and text formatting. Now we also have tap back text replies as you can see right there with emoji reactions. So you can now use an emoji for your tap back reactions within the messages application as well. So nice new features coming later this year to the messages and phone application within iOS 18. Now you might've noticed this new application called Passwords and this is a new Apple application to manage all of your passwords in one place. As you can see right here, we have all our passwords right here. We have our Wi-Fi passwords. We also have our application passwords. We have our pass keys, security, deleted, codes. I mean, everything is in here. You'll be able to manage all of your passwords with Apple's brand new password application. And you can share your passwords with other family members and friends as well via messages. So yeah, the new password application, a new password management app for iOS, which is now available within iOS 18. Now the settings application also got an update within iOS 18. I have iOS 17 here on the right and iOS 18 here on the left. So take a look here as I go through the options here at Bluetooth. They had an update as you can see right there. It looks a lot cleaner and refined. Also the cell service options. We also have the battery options. So right here, the battery options all the way down here, as you can see. And now under charging options, we have different options available for charging optimizations. You can choose 80, 85, 90, 95, or 100, as you can see right there. So yeah, you now have new options here on the battery as well. I mean, the settings app has been reworked from the ground up, as you can see right here. If we go into general right here, you get a cleaner UI. It looks more modern, in my opinion. Everything looks nicer. New icons across the board, more organized. Visually, it looks a lot better. I think the settings application, Apple did a fantastic job within iOS 18 in comparison to iOS 17. It just looks a lot nicer and more organized, in my opinion. Now, Siri 
also got an update in iOS 18. Obviously, there's a lot of AI integration. However, a lot of the new Siri features are not available just yet. You might have seen the new Siri animation alongside Apple Intelligence, which is Apple's AI for iOS and Apple products. And those features are not yet available within iOS 18. But obviously, as more betas become available, a lot more features will become available for iOS 18. So this is just a quick first look. We're barely scraping the surface here with iOS 18. I just wanted to share this one with you guys quickly so that you see some of the new changes so far. Obviously, stay tuned here to the channel. I'll be digging around the software for the next several months ahead and we'll continue to cover iOS 18. So be sure to subscribe. I hope you enjoy this quick one and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.